It is often said that you cannot see the trees because of the forest. And what that says is there's so much to look at that you're, you're not really focused on one thing. So we're going to go, we're going we're gonna to focus on uh, different glass stones. There's quite a few here, but we're going to look at two. They were the best shots that I've taken where I could actually uh, get some detail out of it. Okay, in this color here, uh, the, the uh, light ice blue color it shows up the glass portion of the glass domes a lot better and we're going to take it up to 200 and you can see where the uh, the dome is is slanted sideways let me reduce it again. Okay, the dome is at an angle this way. Okay, now we're fixing to find out why. Okay, if, you, if you've ever seen my videos before, you automatically know that all these glass domes are built on glass walls. And here's the edge of the wall, right through here. And if you follow the edge, it kind of falls down. So this part of the glass wall collapsed and the dome that was sitting on it fell that direction because it had no more support from the glass wall. And because the glass dome is connected to the edge of the wall, when the, the glass pulled away, it pulled away part of the glass dome, but because you have a center support, with a, uh, a support shaft or pillar or column or whatever that this plate is connected to. And it does go down about the average stone depth to the floor is on an average between a mile to two and a half miles deep. And at the floor is where that support is. And so uh, the domes were so well made that even though this is collapsed through here, the structure still holding together and the, and the pillar is holding the weight at this time. And we're gonna bring this in, see if we can bring this in a little bit closer. Okay, <clears throat> I want you to notice as we talked about these glass, how they put these glass blocks onto these domes to seal them was as you'll notice, there's a 90 degree angle here. And there will be another 90 degree angle facing this way also. And then they're done in slots. And then the, the, the glass blocks that are anywhere from a half a mile to uh, a mile wide and uh, long, and probably about 100 feet thick, they would drop them in there. And it, uh, they were so precise in their building and engineering that when they inlay them, it sealed this dome completely where they could pressurize it and create an atmosphere. Okay, also in this color, you can see, don't forget about the wall. Here's a wall that's falling over and this is slowly deteriorating. But we're in the middle stages of this deterioration of this glass dome, uh, which is a rarity. I really. Uh, enjoyed doing this one. There's not a lot of detail, but at least we get to see what it looks like when they are in the process of deteriorating. The blue right here shows more of the debris and the dust and the, the micrometeorites and everything that lands on top of the, the glass domes. And what happens is as you notice, uh, when the wall fell over and it separated some of the structure from the main structure of the glass dome, that because it is so large that the dust will be bro broken away or shaken away and, and it exposes some of the glass. Uh, this glass dome, I, I estimate to, uh, to be about 250 million years old give or take a, a few million years.
Okay, and in this this lighter color, uh, you can see the the metal structure and where it's severed along the edges through here. You can also still see the uh, the top plate that connects the main frame and holds the pillar. This one gets here a little bit uh, more detail. You can see right in here where this has fell over and the, the structure supports that hold the glass have broken away and, and they're kind of frayed and, and, and twisted uh, from the weight pulling that apart. This one here gives uh, a little bit more detail, but it's the, the, t the detail is better in this color on this image for whatever reason. We're going to do is we're going to enlarge it, and even with this color, let me get it lined up for us. You can clearly see the wall now, here, and then how it fell over, and then you can see the pieces of the metal support sticking out, and then in between these slots here is where the glass was inlaid. Okay, I. I did these pictures mostly to, to, to show everybody what the deteriorating stage looks like in the middle with the dome still erected and it uh, beginning to uh, fall apart. Um, the next two images were the smaller dome I was going to show you. And so we're going to, to uh, go back to a normal image. In the first shot, I want you to notice something. Right in here where it's dark, that's where that center plate was. And as you notice, the center plate and this dome kind of goes inward. That's because when this dome broke, broke away here from this wall, the, uh, uh, the center structure carried most of the weight, and now it's deteriorating and, and collapsing. Now, this one does have an artifact in it, and so we're going to go to the next picture and look at it, and you'll be able to see the artifact a lot clearer. We're going to go to 200%. Of course, you can see the dust. You can see a little bit clearer where the dome is collecting towards the center. Here's the artifact here. I don't know if that's inside the dome or if that's an entrance way into inside the dome. But when these domes were constructed and completed, they were completely clear. Uh, you could take a 100 foot by 100 foot piece of block of glass that they made and one person could stand on both sides and you could see perfectly clear to the other side without any distortion at all. But this is just the result of uh, deterioration after millions and millions of years. Okay, everyone, I appreciate you watching and please subscribe and I'll have, I will continue to have more videos out. I work quite a bit so I, I can't produce them as much as I'd like to, but as slowly as I, I do produce them, I will get them out uh, to the public. Hey, I just saw a flash on the lunar surface. Oh, yeah? Uh, it was just right out there north of Grimaldi. Just north of Grimaldi. You might see if you got anything on your seismometers, although uh, a small impact probably would give a fair amount of visible light. Okay, well, Jack. There was a bright little flash right out there near that crater. Uh, see the crater right at the edge of Grimaldi? Then there's another one north of it.